Happy Free Workout Friday, YouTube. Welcome to the Kettlebell Test Drive. This is a great beginner's workout. It's great if you've never done kettlebells before. It's not gonna be too technical. It is gonna be a good workout. And if you love this workout, your next step is gonna be to go ahead and start that Kickstarter. All right, and if you don't have access yet, you can get a free week trial to try it out and learn all those great moves that are gonna get you in great shape. Before we get started with the workout, let's go ahead and start with some warming up with some air squats. No kettlebell necessary. Five, four, three, two, one. Air squats for 30 seconds, hips back, heels down, knees tracking those toes. We'll be able to do this workout and most of our workouts with a single kettlebell. Of course, if you have doubles, we always have doubles options to make it a little extra challenging. Hundreds of workouts and programs to fit all your desires. Get ready for squat benders where we're gonna throw a toe touch in between each squat in three, two, one, let's go. So I'm your coach, Nikolai. We're gonna be having Sheena setting the pace for you. So she'll be going through the entire workout with you and I'll be giving you some instructions behind the scenes. Make sure you're doing everything safely, providing a little encouragement and a lot of bad jokes. In about seven seconds, let's go into some standing folding stars. We're gonna raise those hands high and wide overhead. Right hand to the left toe, left hand to the right toe. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds of standing folding stars, which will be uh, uh, preceding the alternating hip circles, where you're gonna basically do a hula hoop one direction and then a hula hoop the other direction in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Elvis hips one direction. Elvis hips the other direction for 30 seconds. When we're done with the alternating hip circles, we're gonna post up on one leg. You can grab a hold of some wall if you need to. And we're gonna let the free leg swing back and forth as though you're kicking some bad habits. We'll go 30 seconds on each leg in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hip swings. Switch sides in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, please. In about 15 seconds, we're gonna be doing some high knees where you can either jog it or walk vigorously in place, but I want you to pick those knees up nice and high. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. High knees, please. Yep. You can use those hands as targets. Be spanking those legs. Good job. 15 more seconds. And then we'll reverse it and go into some butt kicks where you're gonna bring those heels up real high in the rear. Five, four, three, two, and one. Butt kickers. Good job. Get those hamstrings nice and warmed up. Fifteen more seconds. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, warm up complete. So we're on our section number one. Very simple. Two exercises that we'll be alternating between. We're going to work hard for 20 seconds and we'll get 10 seconds of rest in between each exercise. The first exercise are figure eight. So you're going to take your kettlebell 
and you're going to pass it from front to back in a figure eight fashion. Okay? Keeping that bell nice and high between the wickets, hips back, heels down, lumbar flat, keeping those shoulders square. All right? We'll be doing four rounds of this, so uh, we'll alternate. On the first round, we go front to back like we just showed it. On the second round, we're going to go back to front. All right? Sometimes a little bit more tricky. All right? Make sure you've got a good grip on it. You don't want to damage Babushka's floor. Okay, and then we're going to do uh, we'll alternate figure eights with slingshot squats. So you're going to wrap it around your waist. Slingshot. There we go. Wrap it around the waist. Catch it with the free hand. Drop it into a squat. And then wrap it around the waist the other direction. Catch it with the free hand. Drop it into a squat. All right? 20 seconds apiece times four rounds. Sheena, you ready? Yes. All right. Figure eights front to back in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Pass it between the wickets nice and high. Good job. Hips back, heels down, lumbar is flat, chest up. Great job. Using those legs to absorb the weight of that kettlebell. Three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds of leisure. Get ready for those slingshot squats in eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, let's go. Gonna orbit that kettlebell around your hips, catch with the free hand, drop it into a squat. Let that kettlebell orbit the other direction, catch with the other free hand, drop it into a squat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, round one is complete. Round two. This time we're going back to front on those sling, on those um, figure eights. In three, two, one, let's go. Back to the front. Good job. Remember to always be breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one great job all right slingshot squat number two coming up here in seven six five four three two one let's go wrap it around the waist catch it with the free hand drop it into a squat good job Three, two, one. Beautiful work. All right, we're halfway through section number one. Figure eights front to back again in six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good job. Eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Outstanding. Okay. Slingshot squat set three of four in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. You're going to love kettlebells. Because no other piece of fitness equipment gives you as good of a workout, is as complete, is going to hit every single muscle group as the kettlebell. Three, two, one, and time. Ten seconds off. We're on our final round. This time we're going back to front on those figure eights. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. One more set of slingshot squats and section one will be in the books. Five, four, three, two, and one.
By now those legs will be nice and warm. Heart rate's up. Three, two, one. Great job. All right, section one is complete. Section two, also 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, but this time only three rounds. We have two new exercises. A goblet reverse lunge followed by ballistic rows. So goblet reverse lunge. We'll take that kettlebell sandwiched between the palms. Hold it like a goblet. There we go, like a goblet of wine or uh, whatever your beverage of choice is. Then you'll step back into a reverse lunge there, keeping that torso upright, your weight stacked over your hips, okay? And then we're gonna go into ballistic rows. So with one hand on the kettlebell, you're gonna row it straight up. You want that bell to stay between those, uh, behind those toes, okay? Nice and tight to your center mass, lumbar flat, hips back, chest up, okay? 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times three rounds, starting with that goblet reverse lunge in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good job. These kettlebells especially look like a goblet when they're upside down. Three, two, one, good job. Get ready for ballistic rows. Set one of three in six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good job. So this is about 70, 20, 10. 70% legs, 20% back, about 10% arms. Initiate with the legs, the hips and the glutes, and then you'll be standing up, and then the last little bit is gonna be that, that pull with the arms. Keep the elbows tight to the ribs. Three, two, one, and time, good job. All right, round two of three, goblet reverse lunge. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Good job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, outstanding. All right, second set of ballistic rows coming up. These are one of my favorite exercises. Not super technical, but a lot of work, very explosive. Three, two, and one, let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great job. Round three of three, goblet reverse lunge. In six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Outstanding. Okay, one more set of ballistic rows and we'll be done with section number two. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go row it. Good job. Driving through those heels. That kettlebell should be moving on a rail straight up and straight down, right underneath your center of mass. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, great job. All right, section two is complete. Section three, two new exercises, a little bit different timing on this one. First exercise, we're doing high fives, and the second exercise, we're doing a sit-up twist. So a high five, you can stand with your feet together, and you're gonna basically do it, we, uh, we call them cross curls sometimes. You're gonna swing and curl it across your body, up to your opposite shoulder, and go ahead and give it a high five with that free hand. All right, we're going a minute the first round and then 40 seconds the second round. We'll switch hands at either the 30 second mark or the 20 second mark, nice and safely like so. And then we're gonna go into sit up twists after our set of high fives. So you'll be on your backside here, 
You're gonna hold that bell nice and securely, whatever's most comfor comfortable for you. Sit up and twist to one side, and then twist to the other side. And then you're gonna sit up again, twist to the other side, and then twist to the other side, okay? So alternate sides each sit up. Great job. Here we go. Starting on our feet for the high fives. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Good job. Yep, you can use your legs a little bit. You can pump those legs a little bit. To give yourself a little extra power here. You're starting to learn, if this is new to you, you're starting to learn about the ballistics of a kettlebell. How you get to use your whole body to generate power like you should do in real life. Three, two, one. Switch sides, please. Sometimes with traditional weightlifting, you're always isolating, but when in life do you isolate a muscle group? Do you, do you isolate your biceps to pick up your child off the swing set or pick up your groceries? No, you use your whole body. It's functional. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. All right, 10 seconds of leisure to get ready for that uh, sit up twist. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna sit up. Nice rotation to the left, rotation to the right. Good job. Keeping your back nice and flat. Good job. Take your time. Thirty more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, great job. All right, ready for round number two? It's only 40 seconds per exercise this time, so 20 seconds each side on the high five. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, high five. Clap your hands with that kettlebell. There you go. Good job. Three, two, one, safe switch. Good switch, nice work. You're hitting your quads, your glutes, your biceps. Four, three, two, and one. Great job, all right. One more set of sit-up twist. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Great work. Sheena changed the grip the first round. She did a bottoms up grip, and this time uh, doing a, a bottoms down grip. There's a bunch of different ways you could hold these kettlebells. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, section three is in the books. Now we're on section four. We're gonna go 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times two rounds. We have one of my favorite exercises, squat jacks, and then Romanian deadlift. Then we'll do push press on the left, push press on the right, back to Romanian deadlift, and then we're gonna finish this section with squat jacks. So squat jacks look like this. 
feet together, feet apart, touch down the middle. Feet together, feet apart, touch down the middle again, okay? It's like jumping jacks, but you're touching down in the middle. Keep your lumbar flat and your chest up. And then a Romanian deadlift just means that you're, you're picking the bell up off the floor, okay? The weight is dead off the floor. And the Romanian part comes from the, the straight knees. We're really isolating the glutes and the hamstring on this one, okay? Keep your back nice and flat. If you can't get all the way down to the ground, just go as deep as you're comfortable going. Trying to keep those knees fairly straight. A slight bend is okay. And then push press. There we go, yeah. Push press on the left. That means you get to use your legs to assist your press. Now, if your kettlebell is really light, you could do just a strict press, all right? But we've written this as push press, meaning you get to help yourself with your legs a little bit. So we'll do the 30 seconds on the left side, and then you'll get 10 seconds to switch, and we'll do 30 seconds on the right, and then work our way back up the circuit. Alrighty, so here we go. 30 seconds of squat jacks, ready to get bouncy. Here, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Do these to the best of your ability. We're not all blessed to be dancers like Sheena. Okay, nice. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Time. All right. RDL, the Romanian deadlift. The hamstring and glute builder. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice. For those of you that are new to the deadlift, keep that weight as close to your frame as possible. You don't want that bell to come out in front of your toes at all. You want to keep it nice and tight to your shins and knees. Travel in a straight line as close to your body as possible. Three, two, and one. Very good. All right, push press on the left. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Dip, drive, Notice how that bell stays over the shoulder in that lockout. You get a little bit of fixation, meaning the bell's under control, okay? That little bit of fixation overhead, that helps strengthen the tendons and the ligaments and the joints. Strengthens the skeleton, all right? You get so much more benefit out of it when you just fixate it for a split second overhead and control it. Five, four, three, two and one good job 10 seconds to safely switch arms push press on the right in seven six five four three two one push press on the right Fifteen more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I like it. Good job. All right. One more set of Romanian deadlifts. Coming at you in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Ten more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's finish it with some squat jacks. In six, five, four, three, two, and one. Squat jacks.
Good job. 15 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I like it. Good job. All right. Section five is our final section here. It's a little two minute AMRAP. So AMRAP in this case just means as many rounds as possible. We like to finish with a little flurry, okay? Not a McFlurry, but a flurry, all right? <laughs> We're gonna be doing, to, so how do we complete a round, you ask? Good question, glad you asked. Well, thrusters, we're gonna do five thrusters and five push-ups, and that's gonna complete a round. You're gonna do that as many times as possible with great form in this two minutes. So, thruster looks like this. Take your kettlebell, squat. As you stand up out of the squat, press it overhead. That's one, two, times five, okay? Now, a push-up, we all know what a push-up is. Do it to the best of your ability. You can do them on your knees, on your toes, up against the wall, whatever. Just do them with great form. Okay, shoulders unshrugged, elbows come back at about a 45 degree angle. We'd like to break 90 degrees on the elbows. Okay, two minutes. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Five thrusters times five push ups equals a, a round. And then we want to do as many rounds as possible in two minutes. Good job. Good job. 30 seconds down, 90 seconds to go. All right, one minute down, one minute to go. Great job. Great job. Give me 15 more seconds. You're doing great, hang in there. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Now, the best part, this is where you get to congratulate yourself as you do a little deload, cool down, stretch. All right, so we'd like to start with a little forward bend. From either a standing or a seated position, I'd like you to take a nice deep breath, reach for the sky, look to the sky, exhale, and reach for your toes. Great job. So that was about 30 minutes. We're right about 30 minutes right now. Now please lie on your back here. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Pull that left knee towards your chest. Good job. Call this a little figure four hip glute stretch. Open up those hips and those glutes. We worked them really hard. Now we want to loosen them up a little bit. Go ahead and switch sides, please. All right, let's go ahead and flip over to our front side, Sheena. We're gonna go right into Scorpion. We're gonna lie face down, put your left arm out to a T, palm that left hand flat to the ground, bring that right leg up and over that left side here. Good, you're gonna feel this in your shoulder, pec, and bicep. 
Might hear a little poppity poppity. Bring that foot across your left hip. And now let's go into the other side. All right, now please bring it on back to center. Push yourself up into Cobra, so your hands are right next, right underneath your shoulders here, next to your body, and then you're gonna push yourself up as far as you're comfortable going while keeping those hips on the ground. And then lastly, go ahead and shift your body weight backwards, sit your hips on your heels, walk your hands forward until you feel a stretch through your lumbar and your lats. Great job. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you, Sheena, for that great pace. Congratulations on getting that workout done. Now, if you're new to kettlebells, don't forget to go sign up for that Kickstarter, and we'll teach you everything you need to know. See you soon. Bye.